okay, everybody knows that I love taking pictures and I love going places and I love taking pictures and blah, blah, blah. So here's a couple I took the other day from a little teeny tiny town in New Hampshire. Very strange, the female version, because you can't get it all done. Notice the pentagon inside the pentagram. So there's that. But this is what I wanted to call to the attention of others. Dabu 7, Call for an Uprising, Nicholson 1968, ODD, anybody that dabbles in this genre, you may want to go outside and take a peek around, because I did recently, and this is what I found. This is what it looks like in my patio. Notice there's a bunch of, there's a rack off the roof of my truck and an awning and a bunch of spray cans and uh, forks from a mountain bike, uh, torque wrenches. But what I'm doing is taking a picture out the window. You see that? Let me zoom in. You see that? You see that? That little fella right there? Well, that little feller's new, and if you notice right up top, there's a blue box with a camera on it. I live in a town with no stoplights. I live in a town with 3,400 people. I live in a town with absolutely zero crime, and then yet, right outside my window, I see some men in a nondescript van installing this. So I walk up to the van and they won't let me record, and they have a hard time identifying to me who it is that's paying them to install these transponders and cameras. Well, it's no big deal. It's some sort of technology thing. It's not, it's, it's safety, safety. Okay, well, let's take a look. Here's another one. There's one, there's one right behind it. There's another camera like that. Well, Richie, that's just for technology. It's just for safety. It certainly isn't the 5G, and they're certainly not monitoring you, even though there's two cameras, one pointing directly at my house. How far is this from the other setup I just showed you? Well, I'll show you. This pole that is not in focus is the one that I just showed you. All that equipment. This pole is this pole. And there's the other pole. That's how close they are. This is probably 40 yards away. Do you know why they wouldn't tell me what they were? That's my patio. It's messy, right? You know why they wouldn't tell me what they were? Because they're not allowed to. This wasn't installed by Verizon or Comcast or National Grid or any of your local utilities that drive around in vehicles that have their own labels on them. This was none of my business. And yet, it's all around my house suddenly. Has anybody else gone outside and looked around and seen? I mean, look at this. There's no stoplights in my town. There's no McDonald's. There's no nada. And yet, suddenly, we have serious high-tech equipment everywhere. But mostly directly around my house. That's my fence. That's the pole I was just taking a picture of. You see what I'm saying? You gotta love Nikon P900s. And that's my fence, and that's the other pole. So I have these on both sides of me now, and they just popped up. You may want to check around your house to see if you see things like this that just popped up because they did it really quickly. There was no police officer detail standing outside. It was done very quickly, and they were less than forthcoming with who they worked for in what it is they were installing these for. The best one he could come up with, it was for the harbor master. That's dumb. I've lived on the ocean a long time. You know what I'm saying? That's dumb. Because if it was for the harbor master, they probably wouldn't put the cameras pointing out at the harbor directly behind a giant tree that would be blocking the cameras because the cameras aren't looking at the harbor like the harbor master would want to. But again, I digress. You're not paranoid if someone really is out to get you. At any rate. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. I'm not leaving. It ain't over. And do not give up. Give up. Give up. Give up.